Hi, I'm Mark Franklin and welcome to another Tech Talk. In this streaming media production, we are going to be talking about the HyperDeck Studio Plus, which is sitting right here before me. It is a, essentially a studio recorder that allows you to do a bunch of different recording formats depending on what you need. If you're streaming and need to get something recorded that's uh, a long-term record, this offers H.264, which is probably the format that you are streaming from. But if you want a higher quality recording than H.264, then you can record either ProRes, ProRes HQ, and it does a bunch of different Avid HDNX type codecs. One of the things that I like about this, rather than the HyperDeck Studio, is the Plus allows you to record 4K in ProRes. It gives you a, a lot more options if you need to do 4K. Uh, for whatever reason, they don't have 4K recording to H.264, which is unfortunate, but it's easy enough to pop it into Adobe Media Encoder or Resolve or another program and render it down to an H.264 stream. Is there anything not to like about uh, this HyperDeck Studio Plus? I could only find one thing. You see all the different buttons on here, there's no power switch. The only way to turn it on and off is pull the plug. It's kind of inconvenient, but I guess they saved a buck on the uh, manufacturing. At one point I just left it on for like a week and didn't seem to harm it at all, but it's constantly going, so it's using energy. So I felt, okay, I'll be a little green and reach behind it and unplug it. That's the only real thing that I could cite that's a little curious about it is it doesn't have an on-off switch. It does have other neat switches though. Um, if you don't have headphones, there's a tiny speaker and if you hit this little button over here with the speaker on it, you'll get a, a little bit of an audio sample of what's going on. It's not great fidelity, but you can at least hear that there's audio coming through if you don't have headphones to plug into the headphone jack over here. As far as audio, it does record audio embedded in the whatever video file you're recording. It will record two, four, eight, sixteen channels. Um, there's a menu setting where you can set the different number of audio channels you want to record. I usually keep it on two for archiving and then for field use, if I took it out in the field, I could bump it up to four because that's what I usually use in the field. It is a pretty easy unit to use. As you can see on the front here, it has all the same buttons that you are probably used to using on a VCR if you go back to that era. You can see behind me I've got quite a few VCRs and they have all the same controls. It has a little display on the front here which gives you a couple of the audio tracks and uh, a picture of what you're recording. And uh, right now I have this coming actually off the camera. It's a camera feed of me. So I'm going in there just so you have a picture of something. Its main uses are recording a live record of, let's say you're doing a multi-camera shoot. You can be going through one of Blackmagic's ATEM switchers or the LumenTech switcher that we have and record an HD mix into this in either H.264, ProRes, or HDNX. Another use for the HyperDeck Studio Plus is you can use it for archiving videotapes. That's part of my business. As you can see from behind me, I've got a lot of different types of video uh, decks that people come to me with lots of different types of tapes. And one of the ways you can archive them is running from the decks into the box here. It has a number of different inputs. 
you can see it's got SDI, HDMI, in and out. So you can loop through to other in and outs if you want. There are ways to do use it with deck control if you have an RS-422 deck controller. It has two SD slots here for recording. And if you're going to be doing the higher end ProRes formats, especially 4K, um, you're going to need a, a V90 card. So we're testing out the OWC Atlas V90 uh, 256 gigabyte cards we've been using in the camera so far so good and so it would just uh, plug in there and the other option is there is a USB-C port for a SSD so if you want to have a, a longer record time on whatever you're doing um, you could just take a USB-C cable and plug that in. And so far, we've been having really good luck with this LeSee two terabyte SSD. It's about as large as a belt buckle. It's really, really small and light. And I've had no problems with it. We've recorded a bunch of different things to it. And you just plug it in and you're ready to go. Hit record and now I'm recording myself onto the SSD and the uh, SD card. On the front here, aside, besides the you know, standard stop, play, record buttons, you have the input button, you have the jog shuttle knob, so you can shuttle through clips that you are looking for. The menu allows you different settings to change. Mainly what you're going to do is change the codec. You can also use the uh, jog shuttle for navigating the menu. Fairly simple. While the HyperDeck Studio Plus is mainly meant for the studio, hence it's called Studio Plus, it does have a 12 volt input for field use. So if you have uh, a battery pack with a four pin XLR and you can use a 12 volt four pin input. That's pretty standard in the industry. Another item that we're going to be talking about soon is the Blackmagic Video Assist 12G, which is the 4K video assist. And those are quite a bit easier to use in the field than these, but you can do it if you want it and if you have the right battery set up. If you do a lot of multi-camera recordings out in the field and you want a separate recording that's not being done on the same device as you know the switching like some of the, the switchers can do and you, you, know, you have the confidence of actually seeing what's being recorded then this is a great device. If you're a company that does a lot of archiving and you know, you have consumers who want H.264. If you have documentary filmmakers that come to you with standard definition documentary footage that they want up res to HD or 4K, this works great because you can go through a Charanex Express like I have behind me over here and then record into the HyperDeck Studio Plus in 4K or HD if they want a lower resolution. I've done it for client using a uh, video assist and they were very happy with the footage and it's going to be a, it's for a major music star that I can't mention right now but this would have worked well also had I had it back then but I didn't have it. I would have no problem using the HyperDeck Studio for either a consumer uh, archival job or a, a higher end documentary job. As far as I'm concerned it's a a great little tool for $6.95.